Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to Post Cologne. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at Latafa's Majd El Sultan Azdaf. All right, so Majd Al Sultan Azdaf. I hope I said that right. Probably didn't. Is from the House of Latafa. It is an EDP concentration, and you can pick this bad boy up for twenty-two dollars at places like Fragrance Buy. That's where I grab this from. I do a lot of. All my fragrances come from Fragrance Buy for the most part. I have a coupon code. Save yourself five bucks off your first purchase at Fragrance Buy. If you decide you want to shop with them, that's where you're going to find it. Is down in the description. The presentation on this is something else, to be honest. It, at first I thought it was kind of novel, it was, you know, maybe a little bit unique, but it's got this kind of like fuzziness to it. It's like a velvet sort of casing to it. It's a little cheesy, it's like very, like it just reminds me like the 1970s. Not that I'm from the 1970s, but I was close enough that there was remnants of it when I was growing up. That's what this reminds me of. It's just, it's a little cheesy, a little tacky. Lid on this is a cheap plastic, it's very lightweight, so this can probably break if I was to squeeze this hard enough. But overall, it's not the ugliest bottle I have in my collection, and what matters is what's on the inside, right? So let's talk about the scent profile on this. So this fragrance is a very unique fragrance when it comes to the Latafa line. And I, I have quite a few Latafas, and this one definitely stands out on its own and kind of separates itself from the crowd. I know some Latafas can have some overlaps with them in terms of like there's... They share similar scent profiles in a lot of ways with some twists, but this one I definitely think kind of stands on its own. The closest one I would say it is to is like maybe Amir Al Oud Intense, but this one does veer off in its own direction. There's like some like subtle nuances that make this very similar, but what this one does is it adds a lot more spice and smoke and a different kind of sweetness to it. This one opens up with a blast of smoke, some spices, a little bit of like resinous myrrh mixed in there along with some saffron and what this saffron does is it kind of takes these spices this pepper this smoke this incense and that kind of sweet balsamic myrrh and kind of like wraps itself around that and just kind of basks in all those scent profiles for a bit it's a very powerful bold spicy smoky style opening very masculine it kind of punches you in the face a bit but not in a like an aggressive headache inducing you know too aggressive of a manner but it is there and it is like bold would probably be the best word to put it that's why you've got to be kind of careful on the the initial sprays on this one because if you overdo it this one does it is so spicy and smoky that this can overpower you and probably everyone around you very very strong opening very unique opening as this one starts to settle in though, it, it does change from that opening and it does start to settle in with those spices, that smoke and that incense. And more of that kind of resinous myrrh starts to come through and the amber really starts to punch through. This one has a very like amber forward, resinous, sweet balsamic nature to it. And so that mid with that amber and the base with a little bit of wood start to come through and it becomes a very nice, sweet, balsamic, woody fragrance with that kind of those opening notes mixed in there with that smoke and that spice sitting on top of it and it creates a very unique scent profile the dry down on this is absolutely magical i love how this dries down it's a very unique style of sweetness to it again it has that that balsamic sort of sweetness to it with that that resinous sort of heavy thickness to it and it's absolutely gorgeous. I love how this smells once it's dried down. The opening is very nice too. I like the, I like the bold nature of it, the, the very masculine spice forward opening, but the dry down of it maintains that sort of bold masculine edge to it, but it gets calmed down with that, that sweetness at the base and it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the scent profile on this. Probably one of my favorite dry downs in that kind of genre of a very amber, woody, spicy, smoky style fragrances absolutely beautiful. In terms of occasions and seasons, I think this is an absolutely perfect fall winter style fragrance because of that spice and that kind of resinous sweetness that comes through with that kind of smoky woods that happens at the base. I think this is just so suited for the fall and I think this would punch through in the cold of the winter and it just it has that heavy dark thick mysteriousness sort of masculine side to it that it's just, for me, I think it's just, I can just picture this, like the, the, it's starting to become a little bit more fall outside. And so leaves on the ground, like wearing a hoodie or like even dressing up, I think for occasions, I think this would work formally. This has kind of like suit and tie, sort of mysterious man in the black suit. Not that I've ever worn a black suit and been called a mysterious man for that way, but I can picture that. I can picture that kind of formal occasion where this scent profile would very much work. That boldness, that strength, that sort of, mysterious vibe that comes through 
is very, very appropriate for this kind of scent profile. I think in the summertime, this is way too much. This is like the resins that come through, that spice, that smoke, this would just choke you out in the summer, high heat. This is not something I would wear in the summer. If you decide you wanna wear in the summer, like have at her, but you've been warned. I don't think it's, that's the best place and time to be doing that. Fall and winter, definitely the best place to do this. Date night, evening out, formally, I think that's the most appropriate occasions for this. You can wear it casually, I plan to wear this casually, but I think this does speak more to the more evening, date night, formal event style of scent profile. So that's what I think about that. Excellent, sexy, mysterious, bold, masculine scent profile. Now performance on this, I wish was a little bit better. That's the one thing that kind of takes this down from being an absolutely excellent fragrance because I love the scent profile. I think it's just got just a beautiful opening to dry down transition. I just, I love that scent profile that I've already talked about, but the performance on this, I felt it fell a little bit short compared to other Latafas that really perform well that are even beast mode fragrances. It is an average performer, so I should set my expectations a little bit here. Like in comparison to a lot of fragrances, this does perform about average. Longevity was about five, six hours on my skin, and the projection was moderate for the first hour or two. Because it has that kind of very like smoky, spicy sort of opening to it, it does kind of push out. Like I said, if you overdo it on the trigger, the opening on this will kind of choke you out, choke other people out because it is very strong, smoky, incense-y but that doesn't mean that it projects for a very long time or for like very far out necessarily. I, I, in my experience, I did not experience like a big projection off this. It did stay, you know, uh, uh, you know, just outside of an arm's length in the initial, but it, it quickly moved back in about an hour, maybe an hour and a half into that. It did settle in quite close and it became a little bit more of an intimate fragrance. And then again, by about the five, six hour mark, this has kind of dissipated away to the point where I really had to get my, my, my hand up to my wrist to, to smell this when I sprayed it on my wrist to test out for this video. It's an average performer. I shouldn't be so sad. I shouldn't be so disappointed, but like for a Latafa fragrance, it does fall a little bit short than how some other Latafas perform. And I just wish it lasted longer because it's such a gorgeous scent profile. I absolutely love this one. So I've had to reapply it in the day just to, to, to get on that ride and go for it again. But that is the one drawback. I wish it just performed better. I'm repeating myself at this point, but you know, it, it gets an average mark for the performance, which is a little bit of a letdown. So overall, I am a big fan of Majd Al Sultan Azdaf. Like I said, the scent profile on this is absolutely awesome. I absolutely really enjoy that bold, mysterious, mature, masculine style opening to it with that smoke, that incense, those spices, that saffron that kind of wraps around it with that, that resinous sweet sort of myrrh and that amber and the dry down on this is just so magical. I, I love the dry down. I love how those, those initial, that opening and those mid notes sort of sink into that sweet resinous balsamic sort of nature in the dry down, adding just that right level of sweetness, but still maintaining that bold nature of the fragrance, that smokiness, that incense -y spiciness. Super amazing scent profile. I absolutely love the scent profile. Top, like top notch marks for the scent profile on this one. But like I said, the performance on this, I really wish it lasted a little bit longer. Unfortunately, it does not. On average within the fragrance world, this is an average performer. So I'm not disappointed in that sense. I just thought for a Latafa, this might be kind of a beast mode and it just turned out it wasn't a beast mode. So I gotta manage my expectations a little bit. Not everything can be a beast mode including this one, but for the scent profile, absolutely love it. Fall and winter banger. I'm going to definitely be wearing this over and over and over again. I have zero regrets of having this in my collection. I am quite happy I have this in my collection. And for $22, you could have it in your collection. So again, I'm going to leave a link down in the description if you decide you want to pick this one up. $22 at Fragrance Buy, and I'm sure it's at various other discounters if you find it. I think you would enjoy this one if you like that kind of scent profile. I really enjoy it. So go check it out. That's Majd Al Sultan's Azdaf from Latafa. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all next time.